Hey, Lazarus here. I'm picking up where Popo Man f left off. I am totally screwing that. What do you want me to say? Where you left off? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna restart what I just said. <clears throat> hey guys, Lazarus here. I'm picking up where Popo Man. Popo Man, what the fuck? You're a Digimon now. <laughs> <laughs> I hit my speech impediments. Digimon. I hate my Digimon, speech impediments. Digital monsters. Digital are the champions. Anyways, third time's a charm. Not. Third time's a charm. Okay. Hey guys, Lazarus here. I'm picking up where Popomon left off. Where if this slasher horror apparently, because he used to chicken shit to read the rest. So me being no, gullible no, and all I that. I just have a sore throat. But you do. This is like what page eight? Yeah, it's page eight. Yep. Anyways, let's get started. Um, oh yeah, I totally remember that, and Gummy eating my face. Wish you'd eat in your face alright, snarled Pinky through clenched teeth. Twitch. Time to bob for apples, gleefully shouted Pinky. She ran back to the table and grabbed the bucket of turnips that was standing in for Applejack, and shook all of the turnips into the water. Her expression was still wall-eyed and gleefully insane as the turnips splashed into the pail. Oh, Daisy, can you buffer Applejack before she drowns? Come on, Dashie. Save her like you saved Rarity. Oh, that's right. You didn't save Rarity. With reality bending speed, Pinky popped up under Rainbow Dash just as quickly. Pinky grabbed her and pulled her towards the pail. The knot tightened around Rainbow Dash's chest, causing her to howl in pain and giving her th trouble breathing until the sheer force of Pinky's pulling snapped the streamer so that we're holding Rainbow Dash to the ceiling. Rainbow Dash panted, the streamer suddenly tutting around her chest knocked the wind out of her. Before she had a chance to catch her breath, Pinky shrieked madly, SAVE HER, DASHY! <laughs> Yell um, she yelled as she pinned Rainbow Dash to the side of the pail, forcibly dunking her head into the water. Do a sonic rainbow, Dashy! She shouted, laughing mani maniacally. I, I, I can't say that word. Anyways, <laughs> Rainbow Dash thrashed around trying to get free, but Pinky had her at a disadvantage. Water sloshed over the edge of the pail, drenching the streamers tying Rainbow Dash's forelegs together. Once they were wet, Rainbow Dash's pail flailing managed to... Oh, whoa, sorry, I, I did not read that properly. Rainbow Dash's flailing managed to snap them quite easily. It didn't help her free herself from Pinky at all, though, but after what seemed like an eternity, she pulled Rainbow Dash's head back up. Rainbow Dash coughed up water and took... Oh, and took quick, panicked, raspy th breaths. The, the way this is worded it's a bit weird. Anyways... Pinky! Rainbow Dash cried between coughs and ragged breaths. What What are you trying to do? Kill me? Are you crazy? Of course, Rainbow Dash realized that, that pretty much went without saying right now. Pinky <laughs> briefly looked shocked and offended, but seconds later she dunked Rainbow Dash's head back under water. Rainbow Dash was ill-prepared for a second dunk under water, but Pinky held her under firmly, with a dis dis dissonantly serene smile on her face. Oh, Dashy, I think we lost Applejack, too. Now all the guests are gone, and it's just you and me. She pulled Rainbow Dash's head back up, with Gummy again snapped into her face. Uh, snapped onto her face. And Gummy! Even though Rainbow Dash's head was out of the water, she found she was still un unable to breathe with the toothless alligator clinging to her face. She shook her head as hard as she could to get Gummy off. Finally dislodging him, the little gator bounced to the floor and ran off. Rainbow Dash coughed, gasping for precious air. She reached her breaking point. Rainbow Dash was furious. This has gone far enough. Pinky, you, Pi, you are crazy. I mean, off the deep end, 120% insane. This isn't p a party. This is nuts. You're nuts. Twitch, this isn't a party? This isn't a party? Pinky growled menacingly. menacingly. Rainbow Dash cringed as she realized her outburst might have caught her in an even worse fate, and her ears flattened against the side of her head. Oh, I get it. You don't want to party. You want to party! Pinky shouted in glee. She let go of Rainbow Dash and hopped happily over to the table. Rainbow Dash sighed. Thankfully, it seemed that Pinky wasn't quite finished with her yet. Without hesitation, Pinky buried her face into the cake and dug around, making nomming sounds before popping out again. Her face was covered in cake and she was holding a very large, very not plastic, and very not freely safe cutting knife in her mouth. She squirmed under the table and crawled out again, now with a purple pony tied a purple p <laughs> Wow, tongue twister, I'm sorry. With a purple <laughs> ponytail tied to the handle of the knife. Let's play pin the tail on the pony, Dashy. That always makes for a good party. 
This was perfect. Rainbow Dash had th thought to herself. No matter what was about to happen, she won. If Rainbow Dash had to pin the tail on the pony, that means she got the knife, which meant she could call the shots from there on out. If Pinkie Pie was going to play, she would be blindfolded, giving Rainbow Dash the perfect chance to trip her up and grab the knife, going back to plan A. Rainbow Dash grinned. Yeah, Pinky, that's your favorite game too, isn't it? Let's play! said Rainbow Dash with a self-assured smile. Pinky hastily put on a blindfold, but there was a hole for one eye. Guess who the pony is, she said, staring right at Rainbow Dash. Ah, horse apples. Rainbow Dash turned tail and ran. She was at a disadvantage by not knowing the layout of the candy shop as well as Pinky did, but if she sat still... <laughs> stat? If she sat still, she was a goner. She was fast, if nothing else, and with her life on the line, she was even faster. Rainbow Dash was hardly more than a blur, taking off at a full gallop and throwing the door open. She ran down hallways and slammed doors behind her as she tried to find the exit which would lead her to freedom. She ended up in a rather large storage room full of shelves and cupboards, collapsing against the cupboard-covered wall for a moment to get her bearings and take in her surroundings. Snick. With a flash, the knife swished by, missing her left cheek by a few inches. Rainbow Dash squealed like a little filly. Pinkie Pie was right behind her, sticking out from one of the cupboards. Rainbow Dash, wait! Rainbow Dash slammed the cupboard door in Pinkie's face, turning tail and running again. She tried to keep track of where she had been and where she was going, but she was terrified and she couldn't focus on anything but escaping from Pinkie. After running through more rooms and down more hallways, Rainbow Dash ended up in a small office-like area. She hopped down on a nearby stool and began to gnaw the streamers that were binding her wings. If she could get, her, if she could free her wings, she thought she could be that much faster. And once she found the door, she'd be safe in the clouds. As she worked, Rainbow Dash's eyes started around in a panic, ready to bolt again at the sight of anything pink. Shink! Rainbow Dash shrieked as the knife popped up in front of her from below, stopping inches from her nose. The stool rose into the air. It and Rainbow Dash were balanced on Pinkie Pie's head as she swung around wildly. Why won't you listen to me? She screeched. Because all I hear from you is crazy! Screamed Rainbow Dash. Pinky continued to thrash around, and Rainbow Dash lost her balance, falling to the ground behind Pinky. In a flash, she was back on her feet and running again. More hallways and more rooms passed as Rainbow Dash ran at top speed through them, finally ending up in what looked like a bedroom. What an equestrian is a bedroom doing in a candy making factory, Rainbow Dash wondered to herself. A small mirror sat on a nearby dresser, and Rainbow Dash looked around. It almost seemed deserted. Maybe there was something she could use to defend herself with, she wondered. Out of the corner of her eye, Rainbow Dash suddenly noticed movement. She whipped her head around to look at the door. Pinky? she asked tentatively. She was met with silence in reply. She sighed. Ugh, I'm starting to lose it, she murmured to herself. Oh, Rainbow Dash, echoed Pinky's sing-song voice from behind her. Rainbow Dash shrieked and spun around. Pinky's menacing reflection was staring at her from the mirror on the dresser. Rainbow Dash's eyes went wide as she spun around it again, but saw no pony behind her. <laughs> she panted hard, trying to catch her breath and clear her head. Relax, Rainbow Dash. Just relax. I'm, I'm expecting her to just like, crash through the door and go like, Here's Johnny! I know. This is kind of like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyways, um, once again, she sings along, oh, Rainbow Dash, came Pinky's voice from behind Rainbow Dash once more. This time with a distinct note of rage. Rainbow Dash spun around once again to find Pinky now sitting atop of the dresser in front of the same mirror, hunched over and leering at her with frustration and the knife held in her mouth. Oh my gosh, Pinky! squealed Rainbow Dash as she was running off again, practically with a puff of cartoonish smoke left in her wake. Rainbow Dash was sure she was where she was going this time. As she turned her corner, she saw a door at the end of the hallway. This is it, she thought. That's just got to be the way out of here. Rainbow Dash charged through the door, expecting to be greeted by sunlight, and promptly slipped on a pile of cake that was laying on the floor. Hitting the cake at full speed, Rainbow Dash skidded forward a few feet before tripping over a stool and falling flat on her back, dazed. She wasn't outside, she was back in the room where she first started. Rainbow Dash groaned, half in pain, half in frustration. Pinky ominous ominously came through the door, closing it and locking it behind her. All right, Dashy, from Pinky. You're not being a party pony anymore. We're going to have to finish this game now, she stepped forward. But her hoof slipped on the same slice of cake that knocked Rainbow Dash over. As Pinkie Pie hit the ground, the knife slipped from her grip and flew through the air, directly towards Rainbow Dash. 
Rainbow Dash screamed as the lost knife flew through the air, plummeting down towards her. She tried to get away, but the wind was knocked out of her from the fall, and her panicked efforts to get up were thwarted as she kept slipping on the cake-covered floor. She closed her eyes and braved, embraced herself. Shink, twang, but she felt nothing. She opened an eye attentively and found that not only had the knife missed her, it had grazed and cut into the screamers tying her wings, severing a few of them. Reinvigorated by this sudden turn of events, she grabbed the handle of, her, of the knife in her mouth and quickly got to her feet. Flexing her wings as hard as she could, the remaining layers of the streamers broke, broke away with a resounding snap as her wings flew open to their fullest. She was free. Rainbow Dash glared at Pinky as the pink pony struggled to get back on four legs. The streamers weren't the only thing that had snapped moments ago. Knife in mouth, Rainbow Dash slowly approached Pinkie Pie, fully prepared to get her revenge. Before Pinkie could get to her feet, Rainbow Dash flung herself at Pinkie, pinning her to the ground and bringing the knife a few inches from her neck. So, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash growled through the knife, I came over to invite you to a surprise party for you, for your own birthday, which you forgot all about, and this is the things I get? Well, guess what? I've got a little present of my own for you, Pinkie Pie. Meet my friend, Mr. Stabby. Rainbow Dash lowered a knife with a purple ponytail until the point pressed against Pinkie Pie's throat. But Pinkie just blinked, seemingly oblivious to the whole situation. The insane and murderous look had vanished from her face into one of thoughtful surprise. Wait, you mean all that was for... Her hair ballooned with a squeak, regaining its volume and its vibrant pink hue. My surprise birthday party! Oh, how can I forget my own birthday? Oh, Dashy! Pinkie Pie gave Rainbow Dash a tight, suffocating hug and effortlessly slipped away between her legs. Silly Dashy, chirped Pinkie as she started hopping in a circle around Rainbow Dash. Why didn't you just say so from the start? Let's go, Dashy! Let's go, 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 go! We don't want to be late! She hopped towards the door, but paused and gave Rainbow Dash a sideways glance and a wink. But you might want to take a bath first, Dashy. You're a mess! With that, Pinkie giggled, giggled and hopped right out the door. Even though Pinky had already gone, Rainbow Dash stood as still as stone in place for several minute, minutes. She barely moved, barely even breathed. If she had been able to speak at that moment, it wouldn't have been coherent. Her thoughts, if any, certainly weren't. If it was only after a while longer that had passed that Rainbow Dash clutched the knife even more tightly in her mouth, her eyes twitching, her face contorted with the same insanity Pinky did earlier. Twitch. And that concludes the story. Christ, that was long. Sorry about that. It's Thank all good. Thank you very much. You should totally go see my channel for non-fanfic related videos. Shameless plug. Don't worry.